subscribers, we've had a few more, thank you very much. As you can probably gather, I'm uh, here in my 1200, just doing the schools, keeping these all to really happy. Going around, around, around. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the bit on the, uh, the brakes and uh, yeah, I might go and take a little soda park in a minute. Uh, a few parcels to get wrapped up and packed up and then I'll for people who want to be in the 1200, so I'll try to do my best on that. So um, yeah, let's finish this job off. So you've seen me doing this before many a time, I try to do it every week. If I'm not busy doing something else. Really uh, enjoy with these pillage steer trackers. You can see the bits there are coming up to it and you can just swing round nice and easily, miss it. They ain't hitting anything. It's a bit hard when you're back with some boards. So I'll get this little job wrapped up and then go and do some more. We've got here a new PTO cable for a chap with a 1250 because his handle's broken. And in there, there's a whole load of window rubbers that fit in the glass in, which is going down from France, Switzerland border, I think. That's going up north of the UK. So we'll get this packaged up, labelled up, weighed, booked on for shipping out tomorrow well while i was waiting for some additional information for getting some shipping stuff stuff to be sent off i thought i'd whip the other side of the brakes off on the uh, the 135 oh i'm gonna be so in trouble never mind so yeah as you can see it's just dirty so a good clean up again and uh yeah brake shoes are all they're all good on that so yeah just a clean up we don't need to do any more than that Say so no oil leakage on the hub seal, so we're not going to touch that. Likewise with the other side. Well, that's cleaned up rather nicely in there. And say no more crap and dirt. Give me a good clean out down in the down in there. I think we'll just get a bit of a black paint and tidy that up, clean it up, and put everything back together on that side. And do exactly the same with the other. Nice and clean. Put it back together. Morning, folks. Monday morning. Well, we're ready to roll. Taco in, been on for 15 20 minutes, done my walk round checks, paperwork filled out, walk round, usual. Let's get on down to MOT. And as usual, there's road closures, so we gotta go the long way, unfortunately. <clears throat> well, four hours later, we're back. It passed, not first time, failed on brakes by 2%. So uh, adjust them up, take it for a quick drive down the road and warm them up again and then pass so yeah we're back obviously detour because of road closures so i'm in desperate need of a coffee this is going to live on here for now because i ain't got anywhere to put it at the moment because lorry needs other lorry needs work doing to it so yeah at least we've got a pass we can get it to get it taxed now and hopefully start using it a bit more so we've had a little brush up tidy up move stuff around covered things up that need to be covered up fuel tank and everything Front wheels hung up, centres hung up. Got the one room there we've shot blasted. Waiting for the replacement to come up because that one over there, as I said, has had it. So I think we'll get a mix and primer up and get on these bits now. And uh, yeah, fill the morning up. Then we might just get the drive shafts, which are over there, put together and fitted on here. So that's a bit more out the way on that. So uh, yeah, we'll get busy in the get the gas torch on the go, warm these up, sweat them out and get some uh, primer on them. Well, we'll get ready to mix the primer using the Hempel epoxy. So it's three to one with that and some thinners. So uh, we'll, we'll measure out in the cup there. We'll probably put, yeah, probably 200 in each. It's just easier to mix it up to get the right consistency. And then uh, give that lot down there a good coating. So we'll mix it up, stir it up, let it settle a bit, go and warm that lot up and get the gun on the go. So yeah, Hempel epoxy primer. I've got a slightly different colour, I've got a darker grey this time rather than a, a light one.
that's one coat of primer on those bits. And quantity wise, I think I got a spot on because there's just enough to finish. There's nothing left in the pot. <coughs> so I let this dry off, obviously, because they were cooked up and they're warm. That should dry off quite quickly. This one, I'm going to have to do a bit of, um, a little bit of filler work and sanding because he's not the best finish on the, uh, the steel work. Where's that one? He's looking okay. So one's going to have a bit of filler and rub down. I think I should put, uh, give it half an hour and I'll put another coat of primer on it and probably on those as well. And uh, tomorrow morning I give those a rub down and uh, put a bit of filler in, smooth it off, make it look a little bit better. Morning folks, just after 6am in here. Yeah, I'm down here. Got the, uh, where is it? Where were in there? The one that was looking a bit, a little bit pitted. So I'll uh, get some filler mixed up, get it smammed in that, cook up tea, go and put this truck up for inspection. Hopefully by then, that'll be dry, sand it off, hang it up, and we get this lot painted. Fingers crossed that other rim should be here today. So hopefully by the end of the week, we can have the tires back on this lot. That'll be good. Well, we're giving that a good smudging in with the filler where we need to. So we let that dry off, we'll give that a good sand down. And hopefully that will look a damn sight better. So it'll look something like, and that one's looking, obviously, the other side. Which that one's looking more than respectable. For the age of it so we'll get that one looking pretty in the vaco switch should be springy ot not springy ot let's see if we can put some jollop in it and free it up if not it's going to need a new one it's air over hydraulic uh, sensor look at that springy springy in and out works like new we'll just test it now make sure it does what it does on the electric side hopefully that'll be proper and fixed bloody evacos bloody dafts, bloody trucks. Anyway, wheels all sanded down, white brown, we'll get some more primer on it, and then we can get some silver mixed up. And hopefully this other center's gonna, or the rim's gonna turn up. We give that one a wipe over, a bit of a scotch bright over, and uh, get the silver on that. But yeah, trucks, yeah. And it's a bit bloody cold out there this morning. Real cold wind. So uh, the, the old hands were getting a bit, a bit chilly, but we've got the heater on the go here. So. Uh, Let's do some tractor stuff, shall we? So this is the highlight of my day. This is some lovely stuff. You've got to give it a good mix because it does settle out. You can see all the black bits for the silvery stuff in it. Give it a good mix up. Silver mist paint. I just love to paint this stuff. It is awful to put on. It really is. Delightful stuff. Yeah, this stuff is horrible to put on. Best thing I found to do is you put a light coat on, it doesn't matter if you don't quite cover it, leave it. Let it set light, go and have a cup of coffee, come back, put another little light coat on, walk away and leave it. It is horrible stuff. But that's one coat, it's not looking too bad. So we're going to. Um, Walk away and leave that. Done the front ones there. We've done this rim. So yeah, we'll just leave it for a bit. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I had a run. So I had to put it down that way to try and get it to settle out, which is sorted. I thought I'd do the same with that one. Obviously this is the side you're gonna see. Yes, the other side has been painted, but because what I do with the paint, it is, it dries off quite nicely actually. That was the, uh, the centre I had the filler in this morning, which is obviously primed and you know, painted. And that one, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. I can't see any runs in that. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a shine. Something that's probably 50 years old. It's looking all right. So I was hoping the other rim turns up in the next hour. So I can get that painted as well. At least these can, yeah, go in the right way. I thought I heard a noise outside. I think farmer's had his mower repaired by uh, Jack over the road. Stephen's contracting. Got a big, uh, what's that? Axion 8 
30. Yeah, it's green. Yeah, green, horrible. So while we're, well, not watching paint dry, let's do a bit on the 12.50. So I've just assembled the two drive shafts that go for the drive and the PTO. Uh, greased them all up. Got the old finger with the red stuff on in the holes and yeah, so we'll get these put on now. So all assembled, greased up. Like I said, greased up the holes. We've got the two nuts ready, two washers, and the some little thrust thingies that are on this top shaft. So we'll um, yeah, get them slid on, and there's another little bit out the way on this. Well, we've got the bottom one fitted on, and with my special homemade spanner, we've got the nut tightened up. Ah, down in there. Obviously, I'm where the gearbox should be. But, like I said, we're just putting things on that are done and put them in and they're out of the way. So we've got the other one there to go, nut ready. And somewhere there is the big washer to go on behind it. Well, lucky what's just arrived. The right size one. So we can get that uh, scotch Bright rubbed down and mix up some more silver to make it look pretty. Anyway, shafts are on in there. That's done. Just got to slide that one on. But yeah, let's get busy with that. Well, we've got two coats on that rim now. It's not looking too bad. We'll leave that for a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, and get another coat on. And that's the wheels done. Yippee! Silver, silver. Horrible silver mist. Yeah, I've stood those up just to do another coat on the insides of those. So, uh, yeah. Nice and shiny. So back on the 135. Well, we've been on the 135, but we got the uh, adjuster for the brakes. We'll get that pulled apart, cleaned up, bit of copper grease in the thread. Make sure that end, well, that does turn, but we'll give it a clean anyway. We've done the other one. No, that one. So we'll just do that one, and we can clean the pads up. I've uh, painted the insides of those so they're tidy. And then we might go put the brakes back together. So let's get this unscrewed, cleaned up, lubed up. Back together. There's one side back together. Cleaned up the threads on there. The wire wheel. Scuffed up the shoes. So we'll do the other side now. And see, I'll clean the threads up on those. So we'll just give those a dust off, wipe over, and get all reassembled onto that. And then go and put another coat of paint on that. So when refitting brake discs, get your top one. This is how we do it. Get your top one fitted in with the springs and the retaining clips. Put this spring on to the bottom one. Screw your adjuster all the way in. Then with the spring in place and that between the two, lever it apart, you can literally put it in, twist it in, push it down, and sit it on there. Then it's in. Put the retaining clips in the bottom of there. Obviously clean those up and the tub with the, uh, the bits there. So you get those clips in, and these springs, you put them in, you know, a suitable uh, screwdriver or something, put it in there, and lever it down, snap it on. But also don't forget, put the plate in. It's back together then. Joey, another Reveco's turned up. List of bits to sort out. Hey ho, that's for future Dave, tomorrow. In the meantime, somebody else has turned up. And he's a bit of welding, aluminium welding on a fixture on an engine. His coil's fallen off, so he's uh, just stripping the bits off for me to um, hopefully weld it up. His tractor was on earlier. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen's got. <laughs> Save the day. Broke the bloody aluminium casting for the coil. <laughs> Dave, can you fix it? <laughs> hopefully. That'll do it. You'll be on YouTube tonight, by the way. <laughs> Dear, dear. Well done Dave, everybody needs a Dave. <laughs> anyway, after sorting that out and that out, and another coat of paint on those wheel, that wheel rim, we've now just got this side back together. So, yeah, brakes done, springs on, obviously not adjusted up yet, but yeah, I wouldn't expect anything to do with that today. But there we go, got to do things to infill time. Now we've got a little trip up the road, I have to go and get all horny. Toot toot. So dear Jake at Cheddar Skips, it feels like getting all horny. Toot toot. 
What's the vitamin on the mark? Quite easy. So we've got the original drill down there, power supply, sorted. I reckon you make a bracket, bolt onto that, mount them there. All you gotta do is find an air supply. Shouldn't be too difficult. I think we can make it removable. Perhaps just take it off the test port there. I don't know. Just get the fitting to go on that, because that's got air to it anyway. So, um, yeah, run airline there to the solenoid, power, job done. Easy. Tell me I'm wrong. Right then, folks. Well, that's been a productive couple of days, I think. Uh, I hope I don't get too much of a cussing off for doing too much on the 135 when the apprentice returns from her holidays, which will be hopefully next Tuesday. Uh, so in the meantime, as usual, welcome new subscribers. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a share. And um, yeah, another couple of uh, email information about 1200, 1250. So we'll add those onto the list. Um, yeah, so until next time, thanks for watching. Catch you later.